Thank yeah. you. Uh, my name is Harold Hodges. I'm the uh, founder of HJH Entertainment, HJH Records, and HJH Music Company, which is a member of uh, Broadcast Music Incorporated since 1990. This is my movie acquisition, my second movie acquisition offer that I'm making your companies entitled Biker's Dream, Born to Ride Free. And this, is, this movie is about um, a, a group of boys, the young boys that are growing up, that are lifelong friends in the, in the uh, 19, late 1960s and 70s uh, period. And uh, they all have the same dream uh, while growing up their whole life of, of the, the uh, dream of the freedom that only comes from riding motorcycles. So the whole um, movie is about uh, these young boys growing up in a small Texas town of Mason, Texas. And um, they are lifelong friends and they're growing up in Mason, Texas and, and, and it's, it's about some of, of our friends that and I wrote the script and screenplay for all this and I'm in it myself because I grew up there also and then my friends and so it's about myself and my friends growing up in this small Texas town. Um, some of them are still living now and some died during the early 70s on motorcycle crashes and things like that so there's a lot of dramatic uh, moments, but it's all true life stories and stuff in this uh, movie. But yet, um, it's it we can it's exciting and there's a lot of exciting things going on. And also, uh, and also in this film, uh, it's because of the time period we can use the um, a lot of the uh, music from that time period, like a Born to Be Wild, and you know all those songs that Led Zeppelin and Whole Lot of Love. You know, diff all the mu music that goes along with that time period, we can go ahead and license for this film to use in there. So it, it really makes it an exciting movie and, and, and really reflect on the time period that we're uh, uh, you know letting people relive through the lives of these young guys growing up that are. Uh, like blood brothers are so close and uh, we're then it only comes from a small Texas town life like this where uh, friends are really true friends and stuff like that uh, this is the uh, act, this is Mason Texas and this is the um, uh, the courthouse there and it's the biggest courthouse in in Texas and this is in Mason Texas and it's a quaint uh, small Texas town and uh, it makes see this is the town square here and you can see how it's really uh, you know, uh, perfect for being able to shoot films like this. And, and the best thing about it also, since I'm from Mason, my friends are from Mason that are in the script and they're still alive now, some of the ones that are still alive that I grew up with, uh, we're, we're members of like uh, the, um, uh, you know, Mason uh, town uh, stuff like that. And so they will, the, the city of Mason will stand behind us. I've already talked to them, it's a small Texas town. And they'll stand behind us there, and they'll let it, they'll even close down the streets for us. You know, have police escorts like shut down the town so we can do our filming there on the town square and stuff like that, or anywhere in Mason that we want to, and that we can do the filming there. And and that way we won't have any interruption of traffic going through and stuff like that. And we can that way we can have the you know our our, our uh, actors and stuff like that going through the parts of town and stuff and do the filming without any interruption stuff like that without the town will cooperate all fully with me I've already talked to them about it uh, and also um, uh, you know I have friends there he owns a, a, a cafe there in Mason and it's a cafe bar and a club all in one but it's real rustic you know and everything he's totally overhauled it and stuff like that he's a musician and so am, am I, I am myself and so uh, you know we we have all this music behind us and stuff like that, and we're gonna we can do that. So our characters that are in the movie will be doing some music along the way, acoustic, and you know in settings and stuff like that, and and then also in in the club there, you know as band members and stuff like that. So this is the Odeon Theater there in Mason, Texas, and and this is where in Mason, Texas, this Odeon Theater in Mason, Texas is where Walt Disney in 1957 held the world premiere of Old Yeller because Fred Gibson, the writer of Old Yeller, and he was the script writer and he wrote a book that the movie was made from, was held right here in this little town in the, of only 2,000, I think 700 people in this small Texas town. And so it, the world premiere was held here by Walt Disney for Old Yeller 
and everything. Now, in my script and screenplay, we can use this facility. I've already talked to them, and they would rent it out to us so we can do and, uh, the filming there, do some filming outside, inside, and stuff like that. Because in my script and screenplay, uh, um, in 1969, and we put that on, on the outside, on here on the banner, saying, Easy Rider, because all of us guys in, uh, in 1969, this is where we saw Easy Rider for the first time, which really made an impact on us because, you know, like I said, we're growing up riding motorcycles and everything. So that would be a great uh, place to put this. We'll put Easy Rider there, and then we'll have all of the young guys, the actors playing us or whatever, you know, pull up on their motorcycles out front and then going on into the... The theater, and then you know, show little skits of it on the the, the um, film back there inside the theater with them saying, "Oh, look, isn't that cool? Look at that. That's Easy Rider. Oh man, that we got to have a chopper like that, and all that sort of stuff, you know." So anyway, uh, this is the Odeon Theater in Mason, Texas. So we can use this facility to do the filming there, also. So also, um, like I was telling you, <clears throat> one of my friends there is is uh, John Beam. And uh, he's my lifeline a friend that's in the script and screenplay. And he's the one that owns the, the, the restaurant and bar, like I was telling you, that we can, he said, you know, of course, we can use his facility and stuff like that uh, there in Mason to do a lot of the, the filming and a lot of the different scenes there and everything. This is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, Mason County newspaper. And they did a write-up about me. This is me. It says, Harold Smiley Hodges releases book about musical journey. Well, because since I'm from there, of course, the papers uh, backed me up, you know, and they gave me this uh, publication, which was real neat in the front of the paper in Mason, when I released my book. This is my book's about, that I wrote myself, it's entitled, From McCartney to Jackson, My Brushes with Success, and that's about the, my musical dealings with Paul McCartney, Michael Jackson, and of course, they're very proud of me being from the, there, from me writing this and doing the, having the things to do with you know big stars like Michael Jackson, Paul McCartney and stuff that are true and everything so that's why they put this right up in the paper. So that shows you how the town will stand behind us, okay, in Mason. And uh, you know this, that my book and script and screenplay uh, you, you know that I sent to your companies also is uh, it's called Movie Pitch number one, two, and three and, and uh, that I sent to your companies it's on YouTube also uh, listed under uh, the movie script and uh, pitch uh, from McCartney Jackson. This is also the Texan Cafe, and this is a small little uh, cafe there, uh, to where a lot of, to where a lot of the, um, a lot of the, uh, we did a lot of filming here, and it's all in my script and screenplay how we hung out here as young guys and stuff like that. So, uh, this is inside the uh, Texan Cafe. I'm trying to show you how, you know, we can have on the jukebox back here too. And, and then that time period of music playing on there on the jukebox, stuff like that, and, you know, do our shooting of the scenes, sitting around tables and stuff like that. The young guys, you know, hey, man, and, you know, the things that are going on, it's in the script and screenplay. Now, the next, the next uh, film I'm showing you here is from Easy Rider. And, of course, that's Peter Fonder, uh, Jack Nicholson, and, and Dennis Hopper there. And the reason why I uh, put this in here is to show you how it worked real good for Easy Rider. You know, people can, uh, you know, in big cities can uh, go ahead and they can relate to stuff like that. You know, they, they like seeing the small Texas town atmosphere. So this is going to be a big hit for your companies, uh, you know, my, this movie. This is uh, my, one of my friends I grew up with. Her name is Jana and Haley. And this, so this is the Haley Ranch there. And this is where we did a bunch of um, uh, uh, motorcycle rallies and stuff like that there. And we can u probably use her ranch. I've spoke to her about it a little bit. We can use her ranch to do some scenes. She has a, a there's like a river that runs through there, or a creek, or you know, pretty good sized creek, and beautiful landscape that we can do some of the shooting on there. And it also, we had built a stage and everything where we did some musical concerts, a Harley Davidson motorcycle rally with us playing and stuff. So we'll have that in the film and everything of the thing. So we can use all these things. We'll keep our the budget of this um, the movie budget real low and the profits real high. And this is uh, on Janice Ranch, and this is a picture of me, and this is John Beam here, too. And so I'm playing lead in the band here on stage at that Harley-Davidson motorcycle rally at held at Janice Ranch that I was just showing you. So that's why I have this picture to show you. You know, we can have that because that's in the script and screenplay about us having motorcycle rally and, and concerts there and everything. So uh, you can see how this would be really 
cool uh, stuff in the film, in the movie, okay? So anyway, um, uh, we, this is, um, like I said, this uh, shot here of us playing on stage. Uh, next shot here is my best friend that, that he uh, got killed in a motorcycle accident he, on his motorcycle um, in 1971. Uh, this is me, and this is my friend Gordon Spaulding. And we we were like blood brothers, you know. And then so it's a tragic thing. He got killed on his motorcycle here, and all that's in the script and the screenplay because you know, and that you know uh, brings uh, emotional feelings to the fans to where they 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 you know they feel for you, and you know they know that you know the your friendship was tore up by this horrible wrecks and things, motorcycle wreck and stuff. So it brings a lot of drama into the film, you know. That, that people can relate to. So they'll feel like they are part of this brotherhood of us friends growing up in this small Texas town, you know. And his name is Gordon Spaulding, of course that's me. And you see the motorcycle <laughs> in the background from the movie Easy Rider, big poster. So you can see how the time period at that time was. Okay, this is of course same shot, and this is John Beam I was telling you about, that owns the cafe and bar there now. And this is Richard Haley on his motorcycle when he was real young back then. And, uh, and so you're going to see another picture of Richard Haley in a minute on his chopper that he, him and his brothers built from the ground up that we can, he still has and we can use in the, in the film. Uh, and so it's awesome. Uh, this is Gordon Spaulding on his bike just before he, he um, got killed on his, in, in the motorcycle accident uh, there in Mason. You know. And so this is him standing on the town square there. And this is um, uh, Michael Haley, uh, one of... Um, uh, our dear friends that he got killed also in the early 1970s and so you know all these are characters of the guys of us guys that grew up and and we'll go through all those scenes and and uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing you the script and screenplay from these this is me uh, and I'm, I'm placing a, um, a song that I wrote for uh, all of us guys the ones that have died that were our dear friends there in Mason so I'm planning the the song that I wrote for him and my other friends like Michael Haley and this is Gordon Spaulding's grave uh, there at his grave site and all these things are in the script and screenplay. So well, I want to thank you for watching this um, this my uh, movie pitch uh, uh, number two acquisition movie Biker's Dream and it's an awesome uh, film and script and screenplay so I want to thank you for taking your time and watching and, and, and when you request I'll send you the script and screenplay so I want to thank you. I want to thank you for uh, watching and taking your time. And, it's, it's a, and this is my soundtrack that we can use. And the first one is Biker's Dream, and it has the sound of Harley throughout. You know, so it's awesome. This is Richard Haley on his chopper. So thank you for watching my number. Uh, well, my website and my email is hjrecords at gmail.com, and my phone number is area code two one zero two seven two zero one nine nine. This is Biker's Dream. This is Center Stand Up Time, and this is Biker's Dream, uh, Born to Ride Free. Thank you for watching. Movie Acquisition, number two.